hey what's going on everybody welcome to your special tube today i'm gonna show you how to compute slope length and slope steepness or ls factor to perform Russell model uh, as you know in the previous session we had tried to calculate some input parameters for Russell model today we'll give special emphasis for uh, computing ls factor as you know LS is the abbreviation, L stands for slope length and uh, S is slope steepness. So slope length and slope steepness have its own contribution for the removal of soil. Steep slope and uh, gentle slope have not equal contribution for soil erosion. So we will uh, try to generate the LS factor from the digital elevation model by using ArcGIS with the help of this formula we will use this formula but to compute uh, LS factor we at least follow six basic steps the first one is we are expected to clip out the digital elevation model with uh, the help of ArcGIS on area of interest uh, let's go first of all we need to open the uh, arc map and we need to have our area of interest or the digital elevation model so uh, i'd like to uh, have this digital elevation model this is my study area and i would like to uh, compute uh, ls factor with the help of the digital elevation model so the first step is go to arc toolbox from arc toolbox select special analyst tool uh, from spatial analysis tool, the first step is we need to fill and sync the digital elevation model if there is some kind of impurities in our uh, DIM data. So from spatial analysis tool, we should select the hydrology tool, tool set. From this, select fill. Here there is the dialog box, input surface raster is the digital elevation model of our area of interest so uh, select the digital elevation model then the next is uh, let's rename our output field okay you can uh, give your own name so hit ok uh, therefore fill means as i have mentioned earlier uh, filling some impurities in our digital elevation model so click ok after a while we'll gain the field digital elevation model if there is any difference between the original and the uh, result uh, the the digital elevation model have some kinds of imperfection so the lower value is 974 this is 974 so the higher value or the higher elevation in this area is 3154 this is similar so this digital elevation model is perfect uh, this is the first uh, step let me remove and i'll go to the next step the next step is uh, flow direction as you know any uh, river can be flow from higher elevation to lower elevations uh, with a different direction uh, from our experience we have uh, compass pointers the cardinal and subsidiary pointers for instance we have north south east and west between north and east we have northeast south east northwest so generally we have eight directions so any water body can uh, move from one direction to another direction within a certain cardinal or subsidiary pointers to determine that go to flow direction the input raster should be the field digital elevation model field k uh, let us uh, rename our uh, result flow direction k so this is uh, eight direction as i mentioned earlier we have uh, different uh, direction this is uh, north south northeast southeast and southwest then hit ok after a while we will gain the flow direction with which is classified into a direction so this is the flow direction movement uh, you can zoom in and have a look the result so we have uh, eight classes 
The next step is flow accumulation. In relation to the flow direction, the final destination of uh, any water body and its sediment will be accumulated in lower area. So we uh, need to calculate the flow accumulation. Hit double click. The input flow direction raster or the input data set is the flow direction that we have computed from field A. So select and sel uh, select FDRK flow direction let us rename our result flow accumulation K so uh, hit OK this is a result uh, this indicates that the black one uh, is the area with uh, lower amount of flow accumulation and the lighter one uh, is area which have higher accumulation of sediment or water as you know this is a river channel this is lower area and different streams are joined and there are a huge amount of sedimentation and the accumulation of water the next step to compute ls factor is we need to compute the slope so uh, to calculate the slope of an area or our area of interest from spatial analysis tool scroll down and go to surface from surface select slope double click here the input uh, raster should be the digital elevation model so uh, here we have uh, two options slope can be computed in terms of degree or in terms of percent uh, so uh, we can uh, use percent rise uh, we or we can use degree degree and percentage description is written here and you can read and understand for the sake of this exercise I'm very much interested to use or to have a degree as a unit of uh, uh, my slope so let me rename my output slope K then hit OK after a while we will gain the slope map of our area of interest this is a slope class so uh, this slope is computed in terms of degree the green one indicates that the flat area or uh, the gentle slope and the red one indicates that the, the higher slope or the uh, ups and downs are found in the eastern and the western part of this uh, steady area the final one is computing the ls factor to have the rosel model so uh, what we are going to do is go to map algebra in the spatial analysis tool uh, click here and double click on raster calculator so uh, let me get back to the pdf this is the uh, formula that we have uh, used for computing a LFS factor because we have the flow accumulation, the spatial resolution of the digital elevation model, the slope. So uh, let's go. The first step that we are going to do is go to the digital elevation model and have a look at the spatial resolution of the digital elevation model since it is one of the input parameters to compute a LFS factor. So right click here go to properties go to source and here cell size one single size in this digital elevation model represents 30 meter by 30 meter so the spatial resolution of this digital elevation model is 30 meter you can uh, copy this or you can easily understand and uh, write on the raster calculator so double click here the formula as you know uh, go to the conditional statement and power double click here flow accumulation flow accumulation times spatial resolution the spatial resolution of the digital division model is 30 meter over the constant number the constant number is 22.13 the power of to make power use comma the power of 0 0.4 0 0.4 then 
go out of the bracket and over power sign the slope sign uh, our slope is slope k then uh, times the constant number of 0 0.01745 then go out of the bracket and over 0 0.0896 the power of 1.4 1.4 then times 1.4 this is a general formula then finally we need to have ls factor this is a general formula that i have uh, put this i'll uh, put the formula on the description box below so hit okay and after a while we'll gain the ls factor for having the Russell model this is the ls factor map of my steady area this is door value and this is the higher value uh, you can easily compute the ls factor by uh, such method if you found this video is helpful do not be afraid to help me out by smashing that like button drop the comments down below and subscribe uh, my youtube channel if you have uh, have a nice day thank you very much